What's going on guys? Jimmy here with One Road. So today's gonna be a little bit different. I'm here in the car with my buddy Owen and right now we're driving the 2019 Ram 1500. He just bought this thing and it is amazing. It's got a massive screen and you can see all the cool controls and everything right there. We're also gonna be looking at the fuel mileage that we get on the freeway. Right now we're headed up to what's called Wrightwood, California. We're gonna be doing a little bit of highway driving. I think we have about 80 miles to go from where we're at. And then uh, we're gonna be in the dirt a little bit too. So this thing's four by four. He also just got these WeatherTech floor mats that look and fit absolutely amazing. Perfect fit. So Owen had a Ram before this and uh, ended up trading it in. Did you trade it in? Uh, actually, took it to CarMax. Took it to CarMax. Yeah. And CarMax gave him a pretty fair price. He was. We were both pretty pretty shocked by Several it. Several thousand over the dealers. Um, but what was your truck before? Was it 2012? Uh, no, it was, a, it was a 2010. 2010. Yeah. A 2010 all black Ram and uh, fell in love with these 2019s when they came out. So. Uh, he ended up uh, making it happen. The crew cab is gigantic in this truck. You can see he's got his bow back here, but there is so much room, even for a full-grown adult. In, you know, behind Owen's got his seat back adjusted for him. He's six two, six three, and uh, there's so much room back here, even for me. So these are pretty impressive trucks. Instead of bucket seats, this is equipped with the captain's deck which has CarPlay, it's CarPlay ready, as well as um, all these features for your phone now that's really accessible, you know what I mean? Yeah. So much space. So we got our coffee, of course. Tell me about the coffee, Owen. Uh, it's a uh, layered superfood. It's a coconut creamer. It's got aquamine, which is derived from algae, and it's great for the brain to get going in the morning. Palm oil coconut creamer, Laird Hamilton, this uh, surfer. Uh, he invented this stuff, it's incredible, man. Throw it in your coffee in the morning, um, you're good to go to lunchtime. All right, so speaking of fuel mileage, you can see we're hitting about 20 miles a gallon right now. We are on a freeway doing 80 miles an hour, so that's pretty good. That is pretty amazing for uh, you know a big Hemi V8 to be getting 20 miles a gallon cruising on the free freeway at 80 miles an hour. Owen just pointed out to me the uh, it's not even in eco mode right now. And uh, when he puts it in eco mode, he does get better, better mileage. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed by that. Driving around towns, definitely. I mean, it gets maybe 13, 14 miles a gallon. It's yeah. not the greatest. Yeah. But you really see the benefits of the eco mode whenever you're on an open freeway, especially in cruise control. You can get 30 some odd miles an hour just cruising. We're kind of going up a hill a little bit right now even and getting 20 so happy with that. We're on a pretty good dirt road. We're not in four by or anything but uh, I can tell you right now this truck handles the bumps in the, in the terrain here really really well. We came to this point where we're actually gonna turn around and I just wanted to show you the screen on here. The HD camera is incredible. These trucks have an electric fan and you can hear that sucker cranking out right now. I really like electric fans. Some of you guys know that I have dual electric fans uh, in my 95 Suburban and they kind of do the same thing. They go from about 60% to 100%, depending on how hot everything is. But I think they work great, especially when you're going slow. Your normal uh, motor run fan, mechanical fan, is not running that fast when you're going slow. So that's an advantage for the electric fans. The disadvantage is you can hear them 
in a case like this, we kind of try to be as quiet as possible. He's just chilling, man. Just saw a legal buck. We ate at this Grizzly Cafe back here. I just wanted to show you uh, this truck and just how good it really looks. It's got the 5.7 Hemi, you can see up on the hood. The front end just looks amazing. And of course it's not a Dodge Ram anymore, it's just a Ram truck. But look at how big this thing is. Mirrors automatically fold in. This is a working man's truck too, guys. This is, he uses this thing every day and to go hunt, so this is what they really look like when you use them. Big old back seat. This is really cool. These actually slide forward. Wow. When you, when you lock all three of them together, they come forward even more. Air conditioned nice. seats back here too? Yeah. Wow, so that gives you a lot of uh, leeway for your back. Instead of feeling like you're riding in an airplane, you actually get some, uh, some lean back there. Yeah. Tailgate here, auto That's tailgate. Nice That's awesome. <laughs> Throw your deer right in there. Yeah. Did you buy this from the factory or did, was this? Yeah, this one's a uh, Gator. From the dealership though? No. No? Gator is a couple hundred bucks and couple hundred dollars up. You installed it yourself, easy to install? Really easy to install, lightweight, helps you save on gas mileage. Of course you have this really cool 3D RAM logo there. Four by four, you can see the dual tailpipes. And of course under the hood here, it's gonna be a little bit hard to see from the sun and everything, but. Pretty good. Got the coil packs down there on top of the valve covers. Is that thing got a Hemi in it? <laughs> sure does, man. But it runs nice and smooth and quiet. Plenty of power, of course. What does this thing got? Like 395 horsepower and three, 400 foot, foot pounds of torque or something like that? Four something. Yeah. One thing that I thought was interesting, guys, is this actually uses an electric fan that you heard earlier in the video. But uh, it's Seems like it works pretty good, and I feel like all the manufacturers are now going towards this electric fan. 